Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. I have I've done something. Let's uh let's go check it out. Okay, so for those who've been following along, I've uh I had a couple tutorials where we showed you how to do some basic oil drilling and how to do some basic refining. Well, I have combined those two platforms that I have built for you guys and I've combined them into one. So we've kind of got an all-in-one here. So we've got drilling and refining all on the same platform. Uh, I've done a little bit of other stuff too. I've got a little sleeping quarters, things like that. Um so let's just go up here. Let's start up here and then I'll give you a little tour and then we'll show you what we got going on. Uh, so we've kind of got like a lifeguard's cabin is what it feels like up here. Uh, I haven't done much detail on the inside. We've got kind of an area for like a shower, a bathroom, a couple beds. Got a little office desk area and what could be a kitchen. I haven't decorated anything in here yet because the main issue has been just drilling oil and getting that all worked out. So th this could uh, use a little bit more decorations. We can we can get that going. That's not a problem. Uh, we got some room out here to do some stuff, but uh, coming on down, uh, we've got all our light systems here, everything that we need to turn on lights. Uh, other than all the way over here, you'd have to turn on battery systems here. So let me go ahead and make it dark real quick and I'll show you what's going on. So when you first spawn it in, there's only a couple lights going to be on here, uh, a couple red lights, emergency lights. So you've got one over our little panel here to kind of turn on lights, uh, and none of these work yet. You've got to come all the way over here. Uh, first aid is lit up because that's also important and you come over here and you flip the breakers on the batteries here uh, Nothing else really comes on you get a little bit of lights on your console there and you get some lights up there But nothing too important uh, we'll Come over here. We'll turn some lights on get all of them on. We've got exterior floods interior floods. We've got tower floods We've got running lights uh, which are green lights that are wrapped around the actual rig itself And we've got some floor lights here, too So the, you don't have to have all of these things on you could have a couple of them on You know, it just gives you some options here to kind of mess around with uh, Flashlights oxygen, you know because tidal waves love to roll through uh, But other than that, that's our that's our lighting situation. Let me go ahead and make it day again uh, Let's you know hang on. Let's uh, let's grab the wheel here and uh, get a nice little zoom out So you can see the whole area is lit up nice nice and neat uh, if you had some trucks rolling in They'd be able to see what's going on and be able to load up some fuel and you shouldn't have any problem uh, seeing what's going on uh, so let me kill all this. Let me uh, let's go back to daytime here All right, it's daytime. It's easier to see what's going on uh, So obviously we've got our basic oil rig that I've slapped up in the middle here I've done some more decorating by adding some more supports there. You can see we got our lighting system on there Our refinery we've slapped in the middle of here. We had a little nice little spot for it here uh, And I've got kind of the uh, the burn off tower here uh, is our exhaust so that kind of gives it a nice little effect there uh, but that's that's up and running. That's good to go. 100,000 liters here of oil. We've got 40,000 that we can make of each of the jet fuel and diesel. I've also managed to get the slurry filters working again. I don't know what was going on with those. I've, nothing has changed really. I've just kind of rebuilt them and put them back in here and they seem to be working just fine. Uh, plenty of rods to uh, get down to whatever depths you need. We've got a firefighting system here. So we've got a couple tanks here full of water, some firefighting gear, pumps to push them through. And we've got fire extinguishers listed everywhere, but we've also got these little guys here that we can hook up to and uh, Water the desert. I mean look how far that goes. That's that's unreal amount of pressure, but uh, we've got that there We've got one here uh, We've got one over on this side here and we've got one all the way over here So yeah, all that's running really good. Let's uh, let's get up to the console here. I have made some changes here uh, clearly there's less there's less of a panel here. We had the big old buttons last time and we've, now we've got some nice little instrument panels here to make things a little bit more efficient and we've got a couple things there as well. Uh, I've color coded these here just so you guys who are used to using the tutorial. Orange was the clamp, green was the connector, red was our actual drill head spinner, and blue was our table and I've got purple over here to kind of indicate what fluids we have running here. So. As you can see, the lights the lights are still kind of the same color that you guys are used to, uh, and the lights still turn on here, which coordinate with this as well. So let's uh, let's see what we got going on here. We've got we've got nothing going on. So we need to drill some drill some oil. Uh, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna start cranking up this refinery. And I want to show you how else all it works together, and how efficient it is, and how nice it is to use. So let's go ahead and start moving some rods. And we'll put our first rod in and we should be all good to go here. Let's see we get Get this going here. Yeah, here a clunk. Let's get that off of there We will start drilling here Turn our table on All that should be fine and dandy And we're drilling. Okay, so I'm gonna drill uh, It's probably gonna take about six or seven rods to get down to depth. I think we're at 50 something here uh, For this zone and yeah, once we hit oil, I'll uh, I'll show you the next feature that I've got added onto it 
Oh, while we're doing that, uh, we can come over here and we can turn our slurry system on. Uh, that should start pulling some water out of here and we should start using slurry. Should start filtering slurry. Uh, let's take a look at this. Yep, we are just starting to filter some slurry. So let's get the process going and we should be filtering some more. And it'll do a lot better once we turn things off. Um, what's going on here? Nothing's going on here. It just got quiet for a second. All right, first rod is down. Is it down all the way? It's down all the way. There we go. All right, let's get our next rod. And we'll just continue this process. Connect them up. Easy enough. Move it on out of the way. Bring the drill back down. So again, I'm going to speed through this process here for you guys. And once we get to real close, we'll, uh, we'll show you where we go from there. All right, we have just struck oil. How do I know? Well, you can hear the alarm going off. It's something I added after a few suggestions in the comments, and I thought it was a great idea. Uh, all we've done is put a pressure sensor on our line out to our oil. Let's see. Yeah, so there's the pressure sensor. So as soon as it starts receiving pressure, we've got a threshold gate, uh, and it just starts setting off the uh, the alarm, and that makes for a great, uh, great way to know what's going on. Uh, so yeah, we can cut that off now that we know oil is happening. Uh, we can stop our downward pressure here We can turn our table off and we could just start pumping oil, which is great. Look, we've already got a bunch of oil in here uh, Water still being used so we can come over here first things first. We're gonna keep going through and filtering our slurry uh, Slurry is filling back up and we are getting rid of our Saturated slurry. So these filters are doing pretty good four is all I've got here uh, We could stack these up more and have a lot more going on but we really didn't use that much. So uh, this system seems to be working pretty well here. Um, now that we have oil though, once we hit a thousand, uh, you can probably start this a little sooner, but once we hit a thousand, I'm gonna turn the uh, refinery on here. Okay, that already happened. Uh, so we'll crank our refinery on. I'm gonna come over here and let the fuel through. So there we go. Now the fuel is gonna be pulling out of these tanks. It's gonna start cranking up. And as soon as this reaches 300, we will start to process. Uh, so as you can see, the exhaust is now coming out of the smokestack there or the uh the burn off so it kind of gives the ass you know the look of uh an actual oil rig uh got some ropes going around too you can see it makes it look like power lines things like that so just you know some some detail work not a whole lot of detail work but just enough to kind of see what's going on and uh yeah really kind of enjoy playing with the build so let's check this out we are at 200 and climbing so that's pretty good we are still making tons of oil 
Uh, good to go. So as soon as this is 300, we're going to come over here and start checking our tanks, and we should be making jet and diesel. All right, so that has hit 300. We should start seeing some uh, jet fuel start pouring into here in just a second. Yep, there is jet fuel. Diesel won't start right away because diesel is coming over in here, and it's filling up this furnace first. Uh, it wants to get that up. You can see it's only a 65, 66. It wants to get this up to 175 first. Then it's going to fill up our two reserve tanks here. And then it's going to start pushing into our overflow here. Uh, so that's good to go here. We've got three hoses off of here. So if you were to pull a truck up, you could easily dump these tanks pretty quickly. Fill them up into some other ISO containers like that. Uh, deliver them where you want. I've got a keep active block tucked away behind these stairs. So that if you decided to go off and do some missions, you could... Uh oh, we got a we got a tornado out there. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get too close. Uh, but yeah, so you could leave the area, let this continue to refine. You could actually do your deliveries without any worry of this despawning or this stop working while you're gone from the zone. So you could continuously run fuel, or you know, have you and a buddy run fuel. One could do jet fuel, one could do diesel. You could have another one doing oil if you actually wanted to sell that. Uh, the possibilities are endless here. Uh, we got quite a bit going on. But uh, I do have a diesel generator that I'm working on. It's uh, it's still in the works. It, it does run. The engine works. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to figure out the balance on actually getting some power out of here. But I haven't really had an issue with the four large batteries. I haven't had an issue with losing power. And I think the way power works on stationary vehicles is a little different than actual vehicles as well. Um, so technically, it's just here for looks right now. But it, we have it if we need it. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let's check on oil and see what's working here. Still pulling in some more oil. Jet fuel is fueling up and we're still empty here on diesel. What's going on here? All right, our two tanks are filling up. Is both our tanks filled? Both tanks are filled, so we should start seeing some diesel here in just a second. Why am I not seeing diesel? Okay, there goes diesel. It just had to get through all this long pipe here, but it's finally made it. All right, so there we go. We are producing diesel fuel, we are producing jet fuel, and we are producing tons of oil as well. And nothing else is running here except the pump and the refinery. And the refinery is just running off of the diesel fuel that we're actually making. So this won't stop until this runs out. And this will hold 100,000 liters. So we've got quite a bit of space here. Uh, I did pull some uh, decals off the workshop. I'll leave a link for those as well. And you could use those on your build. Uh, pretty nice stuff. There's a bunch more to use. Uh, battery symbols, all kinds of different warning labels, things like that. Really nice to kind of add some aesthetic to your build here. But uh, yeah, guys, I am going to leave this video here. I just kind of wanted to show you what was going on and show you how far the refinery slash drill rig has come along. I will leave this on the workshop for you guys to download as well. It is free of use. Feel free to do whatever you want to with it. Change it, build it, repaint it, take it apart take parts off of it, I don't care. This is for you guys, and I wanna make sure you guys are having fun with the oil update. And so yeah, and enjoy my build and do with it what you want. So that is that. Um, I guess the next step is to take this over to the actual ocean oil rig and start setting some up over there to do some offshore drilling. Uh, we'll have to come up with a way to actually lower the wellhead down. We'll need some winches, things like that, and a way to make sure that our rod lines up with it perfectly. So if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but with that said, I am going to leave it here again. And you guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. And we will see you in the next one. Just a quick shot with all the lights on at night and everything running. Looks super cool. Super pleased with this. Hope you guys enjoy it too.